month of June and a fantastic result here at Waverley with the Crows getting up by a point. Speaking of the start of June, let's look back at the month of May and the plays of the month. Let's have a look at what Gary Kicker can do with this. Golly, my gosh, by G. Ian Robinson. What a great way to begin the plays of May. Although I don't think that Jim Steins would agree because he was flattened by Andrew the Slam Dunkley. Mark Bairstow pulled off the con of May when he received a free kick after colliding with his teammate, Damien Burke. One of the many off-field highlights of May happened during the State of Origin clash at the MCG when some budding aeronautical engineer launched his footy record special into the stratosphere. Not a lot of breeze here tonight, but that's a wonderful glide. <laughs> Congratulations are in order to Alistair Lynch for taking the initiative to use a drop kick when shooting for goal, even though he was only two metres out. Those Lions are certainly playing with confidence. And commiserations to James Manson for kicking into Matty Larkin's back from point-blank range. Ah, oh, James, it's enough to give you the sheiks of the SCG had plenty to dance about at the premiere of Doug Hawkins' new career, the Phantom of the Western Oval. To the most unusual behind, and young Shane Watson decided to hit both goalposts. Sorry, Shane, but it counts as only one point. Even the Dennis Committee fan club was out in May. Yes, it was all happening. What about Justin Madden and Michael Long's attempts at volleyball? Or the launch of Bumper Nump Week? while Troy Eugle qualified for the final of the policeman's hurdle. Ah, yes, it's great to see the boys in blue show off their footy skills, especially when they enjoy themselves with a little kick-to-kick -kick at the end of the day. However, it seems as though not everyone enjoys a post-game kick. I think that policeman may be required. And so while Jeremy Gard kicks up his heels and Peter Foster takes a dip into Lake Carrara with Troy Clark, I'll wind up the plays of May with a poem honouring the great Aussie Five. <clears throat> Nothing is more elementary than eating a four and twenty on a wet Brisbane day on the 17th of May. Now, just a word of warning. Of course, you mustn't spill the sauce because it's hot and causes pain. While unclothed, it may well stain. So remember, if you can keep the sauce off your windsheeter, you'll be a great Aussie pie eater. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. The players of the month for May. We won't be giving that lady statistics. In fact, we'll go to the footballer statistics. Look at Scotty, can you speak? Oh, it's terrific. It's too beauty, isn't it? What about the Germans? That was fantastic to watch the two of them. Well, the, the, the Germans look.